Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another maths lesson on trigonometry. Uh, what we're going to talk about today are exact value triangles. And let's slowly start leading you guys into it from the basics. So if you type something like sine 45 degrees, in your calculator so sine 45 degrees you get a very long number 0 0.707 blah 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 this number actually keeps going forever okay now there is no way to express this number other than to round it so when we say what sine 45 is, a lot of people write 0 0.707 degrees and then they say round it to three decimal places. Now that is okay, but if you were a mathematician or an engineer and you want to be really accurate with trigonometry, we like to express this number as what we call exact value. So how do we do that? Well, we need to draw what we call exact value triangles. Okay, so in order to draw this, what you do is firstly you draw a right angle triangle. Okay, you're going to draw a right angle triangle with two sides of equal length coming off the right angle. So I'm going to say this side is one centimeter and this side is one centimeter. Okay, they're both one centimeters. And then what you're going to do is you're going to draw the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. Hypotenuse means the longest side opposite the right angle. And you're going to calculate the length of this hypotenuse using Pythagoras. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So if this is c, okay, c squared equals 1 squared plus 1 squared. 1 squared is 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2. So c is equal to the square root of 2. So I'm going to rub this out and I'm going to replace it with the square root of 2. Okay, this is the square root of 2. Now, if we have an isosceles triangle, okay, and we already have a right angle here, that means the remaining two angles must be equal and they must both be 45 degrees. Right, because 45 plus 45 plus 90 is 180. And these two sides are equal, which means these two angles must be equal also. So now let's start using our three trigonometric ratios on this triangle. So let's define this angle here as theta. If this angle is theta, then the opposite side is over here, the adjacent side is over here, and the hypotenuse side is over here. And let's write out the three ratios. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, Sokatoa, if you um, have forgotten it. Okay, so you write out the three ratios, and what we're going to do is substitute the numbers we have into these three ratios so that we have sine 45 degrees equals 1 over square root of 2. 
right? Because opposite is one, hypotenuse is square root of two. Cos 45 is also one over square root of two. And tan 45 is equal to one because one divided by one is one. Now let's check if our sine 45, if this number matches that number when we type it in the calculator. So you type in 1 divided by the square root of 2 and you press equals and it gives you exact same number 0 0.707 which matches that but this is what we call an exact value okay oops these are what we call exact values because they are exact okay you they're more accurate than expressing it as a rounded number okay now what if we want sine or cosine or tangent of an angle other than 45 well, there is another exact value triangle that we can draw that will give us uh, the exact values for some other angles. So let's draw a right angle triangle. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two centimeters on every side. And I'm going to make it an equilateral triangle with two centimeters on every side, which means all three angles will be 60 degrees, right? Equilateral triangle. Hopefully, you guys know what that means um, if you're doing this tutorial. Okay, now what we want to do is we're going to cut this triangle in half from the top vertically downwards. Cut this triangle in half. And I'm going to rub out half of this triangle. I'm going to rub everything out here on the left of this triangle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to relabel what I have left on the right hand side. So basically this angle is now 30 degrees because it is half of the original. So this angle is 30 degrees. And we have a right angle here. And this length down the bottom here is now 1 centimeter. Right, it was two centimeters, but because we've cut it in half, it is now one centimeter. So if we write down the trigonometry ratios now, um, so we got sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, tan. Okay, and let's substitute the numbers in first. So let's allocate 30 as theta so we got sine 30 and the opposite side is 1 the hypotenuse side is 2 okay so we've done that now let's do cos 30 now we don't know what this side is but we can use Pythagoras to figure it out because a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared if we set this is c this is b and this is a a squared plus one squared equals two squared a squared equals two squared minus one squared which is four minus one which is three so a squared is equal to three a is equal to the square root of three so what I'm going to do is rub this out and change it to the square root of 3. Okay, so now cos 30 is um, 1 over square root of 3. And then 10, 30 is... Uh, 
Oops. Sorry, I just did that wrong there. Because cos 30 is not 1 over square root of 3. Cos 30, this is the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse. So cos 30 is square root of 3 over 2. And tan 30 is opposite over adjacent. So it's 1 over square root of 3. Now let's try to type these into our calculator just to make sure it's right. So I'm going to type sine 30 in the calculator. So sine 30 degrees. And I have 0 0.5 which matches what it says here. And let's type cos 30 into the calculator. And I have 0 0.866. And now let's type square root of 3 over 2 into the calculator. Square root of 3 over 2. And we have 0 0.866 as well. So it works. And let's try the last one. Tan 30 is... 0 0.577 and if I type in 1 over square root of 3 and I also get 0 0.577 so these are definitely correct okay and let's try um, the last three ratios so we have um, sine 60 cos 60 tangent 60 okay sine 60 so theta is here that's opposite over hypotenuse cos 60 if theta is here adjacent over hypotenuse and tan 30 which is uh, sorry tan 60 so that's opposite over adjacent Okay, so these are the exact value triangles. So now you can find the exact value of um, zero degrees, right? Because you can use the unit circle for that. You can find the exact value of 30, 45, 60, 90, and um, any of those similar uh, angles on the unit circle okay so actually let's just draw a quick diagram of that so if I have the unit circle okay and uh, I draw a circle so that's one one negative one negative one and I draw a unit circle actually let's just draw a better one from GeoGebra so this is a unit circle from GeoGebra and let's say we have um, 30 degrees over here so if this angle is 30 Okay, and let's do a 45 degree angle from the origin. So let's say the angle from here to here is 45. And let's say we have a 60 degree angle. Let's draw another color. 60 degree angle over here. So the angle from um, here to here is 60 degrees okay you should be able to tell me the X and the Y coordinates of all of these points and as well as these points here and as well as the reflection of these points on the other side And as well as a reflection of all of these one, two, three, four, five, nine points 
the reflection of these points on the other side of the uh, Cartesian plane. So if I asked you for example tell me the exact value of points sorry tell me the coordinates of point K which is this point here and the angle that the point K makes with the positive x-axis so this angle from the positive x-axis all the way to here is um, so we have 180 210 225 so this angle is 225 okay and I asked you guys okay what is the exact value of the X and the Y coordinate of point K okay then to figure that out what you would do is you would find out what the exact value is of this point over here where theta is 45 so at this point here you would go um, X the X coordinate is the X coordinate is uh, cos 45 and the Y coordinate is sine 45 and if you look up the angles cos 45 is 1 over square root of 2 and sine 45 is as 1 over square root of 2 as well okay so on the other side of the on the second quadrant for this point here um, you would have basically the same y value right so it's still going to be 1 over square root of 2 is the y value but the x coordinate is the negative of what we had in the first quadrant so it's negative 1 over square root of 2 right because the x coordinate of this point is on the negative side so over here for this point the x coordinate is 1 over square root of 2 and the y coordinate is 1 over square root of 2 right so whereas let me just uh, try and get this straight so the y coordinate is the same but the x coordinate is the negative of that so it's negative 1 over square root of 2 now we're going to reflect this point using the horizontal x-axis or so reflect it so it is now here and the y-coordinate will be negative 1 over square root of 2 and the x-coordinate will be negative 1 over square root of 2 so it's negative 1 over square root of 2 and negative 1 over square root of 2 and that is the exact value of this point here which is sine 225 for the y coordinate and x coordinate is sine um, sorry cos 225 and if you type these numbers into the calculator okay so if you type in cos 225 and you can see here I get negative 0 0.707 and if you type in negative 1 over square root of 2 if you type in negative 1 negative oh negative 1 over square root of 2 it is negative 0 0.707 as well and it'll be the same thing with sine 225 
Okay, hopefully this video has helped you guys uh, to learn about how to find the exact value of points on the unit circle. I'll see you guys next time.